Hello YouTube. Today I'll be going through the required steps of making an LED blink on a Silings FPGA board. I'll be using the Basis 2 FPGA board, but uh, this tutorial will be useful for any kind of Silings FPGA boards as we will be using the Silings Ice Project Navigator. Uh, this tutorial is uh, for VHDL programming and uh, I'll make the required code show the required steps uh, to make an LED blink by uh, using the onboard 50 MHz oscillator. So uh, let's first uh, open up the project navigator and uh, create a new project. As you might notice I'm still using a relatively uh, old version of the project navigator because uh, some of my projects doesn't synthesize properly with the new versions. When the project navigator has been opened it will probably load m one of my previous projects so I'll just close that and then I'll go to new project. In here I'll type the project name for this purpose. Uh, I'll type LED blink and uh, I'll set up the required uh, things settings for the synthesizing component uh, tell it's like the compiler telling it uh, which processor or in this uh, uh, case the FPGA device and uh, we'll be using the Spartan 3E uh, 100E component which is uh, the 100,000 uh, logic gates uh, device and it's the BGA device so the the package name is CP132. So then we press next and finish to generate the the project and then we'll add a new source. For the source we'll select a VHDL module and uh, I'll just call this LED Blink 2. It uh, actually doesn't matter. We don't have to enter the port names here as we'll do it uh, manually. So we press finish and we get to the main window. The first thing we have to do is to uh, add some uh, libraries or what you would like to call it, uh, call them. But uh, up here we have to uh, add the arithmetic and the unsigned library as we will do some counting and uh, using some math functions. So uh, I'll first type in the and add the the arithmetic so it's called standard logic arith and we'll add all of them and then I'll add the unsigned and also all of those so now we got the libraries the includes uh, ready uh, so we're ready to make our entity uh, the entity for our LED blink application would actually only consists of one input and one output this will be a clock input and a LED output. So we will make our port definitions. And for this uh, example, we have our clock, which in this case is 50 megahertz. And we'll make that an uh, input. And then we also have the LED output. And this will also be a standard logic, which uh, represents a single bit. Now we actually finished the port definitions of our LED blink entity. So we can go directly to the architecture uh, of the LED blink which is actually the main code and uh, before we have the begin of the architecture here in the VHDL language we can have some global definitions uh, I'd rather call them because I'm a C programmer too I uh, usually call these the global variables but uh, in this case those are called signals in VHDL so we rewrite the uh, signal and uh, we'll make a uh, yeah, uh, some kind of uh, counter which is going to make the prescaler. As we would like to make the LED blink with, uh, yeah, for this matter, uh, 1 hertz frequency, we uh, have to divide this 50 megahertz signal down to 
a signal f uh, with uh, one hertz frequency. So we will make a prescaler using a counter. So we will make a signal called counter, and then we are going to use the so-called standard logic vector. Uh, standard logic vector is a kind of array of bits uh, where we define how many bits we would like between the parentheses. Uh, in this case, as we would like to count to uh, yeah, 50 million, uh, we should be able to save at least uh, num a number up to 50 million. So I'll go to my calculator and uh, type in 50 million and we'll get this uh, value as the binary pr representation and uh, also if we look down here we can see how many by uh, bits this uh, requires uh, here we have uh, 32 bits this sh indicates 31 as it goes from bit 0 to bit 31 and in this case we uh, are not using 32 bits we are only using 28 uh, no, 27, 6 maybe, uh, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, yeah, so 26 bits are currently being used, or should be used, f to count to 50 million. Um, and this goes from 0 to 25, if we should make this in the standard logic vector, but we're not going to count to 50 million, as we are make, going to make a 1 hertz signal. So a 1 hertz signal should switch uh, f uh, twice a second. So we should only count to 25 million and then we should toggle the output. So we divide this with 2. Uh, go divide by 2. So we get 25 million and we'll save this as a binary representation. Again, we go in and see, okay, so now we're actually only using 25 bits. So this should go from 24 down to 0 bits. So now as we have the, the counter uh, variable, counter signal, which is going to hold the counter value uh, ready, we can start making the process. A process in VHDL, in FPGA uh, generally, uh, is the sub routine though in FPGAs processes run uh, multiple processes run simultaneously uh, so they run parallel to each other and that's a great thing about FPGAs as they can do parallel work uh, but we will make this uh, prescalar process which is going to count up to uh, 25 million and when it reaches 25 million it should toggle the LED output but uh, as we are going to toggle an output, we are also going to read uh, what the current state of this output is. And the problem in VHDL is that we can't read port uh, definitions that is uh, set as outputs. So we are going to make a signal that is going to hold a bit that is going to hold the current LED output state. Uh, and we'll actually just call this clock 1 hertz as it's the same thing and make this as a bit then we're going down and uh, make to make the process so we write and call this the prescalar process and uh, in this process we should take care of the input clock frequency and that means we have to write it in the parentheses between uh, or after the, the process statement uh, as the process is then going to take care of changes in this input or signal or whatever and we begin and oh sorry and we begin and end the prescalar process for good and process prescalar right so now in the process this process is going to be run all the time uh, but we only need it to count when something happens with the clock and this means we only have to count on the rising edge of the 50 megahertz clock so when we have a rising edge of the clock we would like to increase the counter variable the counter signal if the counter is less than 25 million so if counter is less than 25 million 
then we should increase the counter. Right. But if the counter is not less than 25 million, this means that we have reached 25 million. Then we should toggle this clock 1 hertz signal as we now reach the 25 million count. And we do this by actually just inverting the bit by doing a not. And by doing this, we are toggling the clock 1 hertz at uh, half a second, which then genera generates a total of 1 hertz frequency. And that is almost it. As we uh, have reached 25 million, we should also remember to reset this counter. And we are doing so by just assigning zeros to the counter signal uh, vector by doing the others zero which sets all set all the bits to zero and that is actually it we can now end the ifs and uh, we have now made a prescaler for counting to 25 million and then toggling a signal called uh, clock 1 hertz uh, which makes a total frequency uh, of 1 hertz so this prescaler scales a 50 megahertz signal down to a 1 hertz signal and we can then use the simple VHDL statement for assigning the LED output to this 1 hertz internal signal. And uh, that's actually it for the VHDL code. Now there's only left for us to make a so-called constraints file, which is a file that tells the compiler which uh, port definitions are connected to which pins on the FPGA itself. So we go up to the device, right click on that and press new source. And this time we're going to select the implementation constraints file, UCS file as you can see, and I'll just name this pins. And we press finish. And in here we're going to make a, uh, a definition for each of our port uh, definitions. So we are going to make a so-called net for our 50 megahertz signal that is going to be located at some pin and we're going to make a net for our LED that is going to be located on another pin. On my basis 2 board I can read on the silk screen that the 50 megahertz signal is connected to the B8 pin on the BGA uh, package itself of the FPGA and uh, for the LED I'm going to use LED 0 uh, which is connected to M5 and that's actually it for the uh, constraints file, so we can save this and go back to our VHDL file, save that, select it, and then we can try to generate the programming file and see if we can do this uh, successfully. Synthesizing went fine. And this, uh, most of the times, it takes some time. Uh, it all depends on the project size. And now it's a, it is uh, generating the programming file, the bit file itself, for us to program into the FPGA. So uh, we'll open the programming environment. And uh, for this basis 2 board, it comes with the adapt shoot that is useful for programming. Uh, so we will uh, open the bit file and uh, program the device and then uh, you'll notice the when we start the programming you'll notice that the LED after finished starts to blink with a frequency of 1 Hertz. That's it for this uh, LED blink tutorial. I hope you uh, you got some useful information out of this and uh, I'll be uploading a tutorial on how to make a VGA signal this VGA port on uh, how to uh, generate a VGA signal uh, with 640 by 480 pixels uh, also using the basis 2 board. So uh, thank you for watching.